What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And today, not playing, I thought I'd do some post commentary. Because uh, I kind of want to get my thoughts on uh, Leo's buffs. Because a lot of people been asking me in the comments. Uh, I'm happy that we got the buff. It's just not exactly... I'm, I'm more or less disappointed because his offense and his, def his back turn stance... It was already good. And it looked like this this balance patch was about uh, making stuff that's not as strong better. And it's so many things wrong with Leo outside of his back turn stance. Uh, I felt like they could have buffed rather than trying to give a buff to his back turn stance. Not to say that I don't appreciate the buff because the buff is really good. Uh, it opens up a... Um, opens up mind games for you so basically soon as the buff came out everybody was mashing after 5k in the back turn stance uh so it, it opens up a new mind game for you to uh work with it's just that you know it's not what he needed he didn't need that his back turn stance was already good i would like rather than try to buff his his um his 5S outside of his stance, uh, or his 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 5H, any one of those would have been cool because it felt like his hurt box extends before his hit box, <laughs> and it kind of it kind of makes me mad because I can't throw it out because somebody might uh, wake up and do whatever and just throw out a hit box, or when I'm fighting May, she just throw out her her jaw and it just outbeats all my attacks. It's so. I wish they could have find a way to just buff something outside of his back turn stance because it was already great as it is. Uh, but I am happy to have it. Um, so that's good. But yeah, that's just that's pretty much how I feel about the uh, the buff. I'm happy that we got it. I'm just a little disappointed because especially like Kai, he, Kai, he got so much quality of life changes like stuff he really needs uh i didn't get you know leo he didn't get that kind of treatment because leo he's already a good character and you could possibly be like one buff away from making him broken so you don't want to do that <laughs> i get that <laughs> but i was just hoping for something else besides his back turn stance uh but yeah that's my feelings on the matter like i just feel like it just wasn't necessary uh yeah so for the rest of this uh this commentary i'm gonna just do some post commentary commenting on this match because i had a i had a really good fight with this uh potemkin player and he shocked the mess out of me like he was just so good and i kind of want to give you my thoughts on it and what my game plan was fighting him All right, so here go to Potemkin that I was talking about. Uh, he was just doing some stuff. He was just so bold. <laughs> it wasn't the stuff that necessarily took me off guard. It was just stuff that he was just, the decisions he was making was just so bold at the time, you know? But I'm gonna show you how I adapt to the situation and, and what my mindset was. Like I said, right off the bat, usually people do it like once or twice, but he just, he had no breaks. I wasn't re ready to DP right there, but it is a setup I do when they go up to the ground pound because your uh, 2D is off the ground. You can then hop over the ground pound and then get a counter hit on them. So if they try to do that in the string, you can always 2D it. Boom, he took the first round fast and he OTG'd me into the um, into the Potemkin Busker, which I, I wasn't ready for. I tried to DP, get up, and I got Potemkin busted. I knew he was gonna try it again. Usually what I do in the first the first set, the first round, uh the first match rather, I just try to sit back and see how the, the person plays. Uh and once I can once I can get an accurate read on how they playing, I then try to go for my resets. And what you see me try to do here, 
to order to do my resets, I have to really condition a person. And uh, see, this this is what I showed yesterday in my uh, short video. That was the first time I did that. I just had a feeling that he was going to wake up special. Like, you ever just had that feeling like you just know it in your gut? I had that feeling. <laughs> I just saw I went for the uh, the go in the stance and, and, and uh, counter his special. But you'll notice I do things to try to condition them so I could go for my resets. And once 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 I know how he play and I condition him, I could then, you know, let you know let loose. I wasn't gonna let this perfect go, by the way. Cause he perfect me and it was it was a clean perfect, but I wasn't gonna let it go. You know, if you perfect me, I gotta perfect you back. That's just how it is. Now that was crazy. I didn't think he was just going to just straight up drop down on me like that for me letting him uh, come back from the wall. But shit, sometimes you just get away with stuff. That that caught me off guard. <laughs> that caught me off guard. No joke. But it's cool. I got the uh, I got the round. Nope. I actually tried to go on my defensive stance, but he, he clipped me before I could go in it. Oh, uh, he fucked up. That's just on him. If he would have got that, he, he would have closed the round out. I figured he was going to go for a command grab because he showed me that he's just willing to go for the command grab every time. This is another condition I did. I would literally deliberately go behind him and backdash every time. Uh, that's one of the ways I condition you. So when I go for my resets, you'll try to either wake up or attack or dash forward and attack me. So that's that's one of the conditions. I wanted to loosen him up. I wanted to. Uh, I want them to get out of that habit of grabbing on wake up. And here's where I just put it all together. Like all the uh, condition I did, I just put it together. I know how you playing. Now I'm going for my attacks. You see, I try to do it there, but he burst. Spin around. I immediately go for my attack, go into the grab. To do all this, you got to condition a person. Like I said, you don't get away with just perfect in me. I'm going to pay you back <laughs> one way or another. Chicken, I chicken blocked the wake up just so I didn't have to deal with any options. That way I was able to block if you do an air command grab. You don't want to chicken block if they have meter because you could risk getting hit by the special. Uh, he waited till I did a move. That was smart. Yep, but that's the end of the video. This was a good player. He was a good Potemkin player. I just wanted to let I wanted to show you my mindset on this. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want more content from me. If you want to see more content. Uh, yeah, that'd be it. Peace out. And go get down. I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no.